vessels were torpedoed by German submarines during the last months of the war. When the steamship Leopoldville was launched on the October 8, 1928, no one could have predicted that 18 years later it would be lying 30 fathoms down of Cherbourg. Since June 44, the Leopoldville was used to carry troops between England and Normandy under the command of Captain Charles Lambert. It had safely carried over 50,000 troops to France. During the fall of 44, German forces had been driven out of France and Belgium, but on December 16th, Hitler order a counter-offensive in the Ardennes. As a result, men of the American 66th Infantry Division, the famous Black Panthers, were hurriedly curled back from Christmas leave. At dawn, on December 24, 2,235 men left Southampton on the Leopoldville. By 9 a.m., the convoy heading for France is in position. Destination, Cherbourg. About 2.30 p.m., an escorting frigate sees a periscope. But it is a false alert. By evening, the convoy is in sight of the Cotentin coast. It is Christmas Eve. All the men on board are happy to know that they will be soon at home to be unsure. But the German submarine U-486, hiding beneath the surface, fire two torpedoes at the largest ship, the Leopoldville. The second torpedo finds its target at 6 p.m., hitting the Belgian ship on the waterline near. At least 300 men were killed in the explosion. Captain Charles Lambert drops anchor but doesn't send any SOS. The ship is about five nautical miles from Cherbourg. But seawater rushes into the vessel, the ship engine are soon flooded, and the water tank buckled give way. An escorting frigate with 700 rescued men on board reaches Cherbourg and gives the alarm. It is 7.30 p.m. Several vessels rush to the scene to save the shipwrecked men, but it is too late. The Leopoldville, with 800 American soldiers on board, sink beneath the waves. 